Abby's coming in here. She's going to yell at us. You see her standing there? <laughs> Abby's going to yell at us because she thinks I was saying hi to somebody at the door. Oh, well. All right, I think the camera's a little crooked, but we're going to get on with it. All right. So today's real estate daily topic is free and clear houses. I love free and clear houses, and I really, really love them when I have them free and clear. <laughs> so free and clear houses are when you don't owe a mortgage on the house, you don't own any liens on the house, this house is just there, you don't owe anybody anything on it except once a year when the taxes are due, because the taxes are due every year no matter what you do. So. How do I find free and clear houses? I mean, did y'all know that people are out there and they have paid off their mortgage or have they have paid cash for a property and they don't owe anything else on it? I mean, sometimes when I tell people that, they think I'm lying and I'm not. There are 100,000, 300,000, half million, million dollar houses that are free and clear, no mortgage owed on it. Sometimes people pay them off. I mean, that's, that's the goal, or at least, you know, 50 years ago, that was the goal, was to buy a house when you were young and newly married and all that jazz and pay for it, pay for it, pay for it. And by the time you were ready to retire, it was paid off and you didn't have a monthly payment. So you could just enjoy your retirement. I mean, right? That was the dream. Now, in 2016, the dream is to buy a house, pay it off in five years, and then rent it buy another one, pay it off in five years and rent it. Buy another one, pay it off in five years so that when you retire in 30 years, if you only do one every five years, you have six houses free and clear in 30 years. So by the time you retire when you're 50, you got income, right? Isn't that the goal? So, I'm sorry, my name is Whitney Nicely. I am the principal broker, principal auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions. Um, I buy and sell high-end land at auction. Our website is acre.bid, but I also coach people on how to, how to buy houses and land, either on auctions or with owner financing. So, speaking of auctions, let me tell you what I did today. I saw a farm today in Tennessee with 89 acres, and it was free and clear. It had a two-bedroom, one-bath house, a little house, but it was new. It was built in 06. But it was still a small house. I mean, the barn was easily six times as big as the house. And the shed was 100 feet longer than the barn. Okay, so the animals were well taken care of. But the people lived in a two-bedroom, one-bath little house. Not a shack, a nice house. But these people have 89 acres. And they bought it in 13. And they want to move back to Iowa to hang out with the grandkids. So they want to auction it. Great. Sounds good. Let's do it. Sign me up. So, if you come across a house that is free and clear, that is the perfect opportunity to sign them up for owner financing because owner financing only works on free and clear houses, okay? The owner is financing you the property. Oh, hey, Lenny's on now and he shared. So, if you like this, then share the scope. Thank you for doing that, Lenny. I appreciate it. So, Owner financing only works on free and clear houses, and there are tons of free and clear houses out there. Some of the free and clear houses are, some of the free and clear houses are rental houses, and they have become free and clear by, you know, somebody else making the payment. So somebody else has rented the house from them, made their payment for them, so now they are clearing five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month. And if you're asking about renting a place and maybe you don't have great credit, most of the time when you rent a place, they're gonna pull your credit. But if you find a house that's for rent, especially if it's free and clear, it's paid off, tell the, the landlord, tell the seller that you want to buy it. Tell them that you want to buy their house. You will do a rent to own on it. You will do a lease option on it. I have bought 12 houses and to this day nobody has run my credit. And I have rented out the houses to other people. I've still not moved into any of those houses. So if you have bad credit, start buying houses with owner financing. And go into the owner financing and say, hey, 
I do this, that, or the other. I buy houses. I've been doing houses like this. Now I'm wanting to buy them like this. And oh, by the way, I need a place to live right now also. So, it's not exactly a workaround, but nobody has pulled my credit when I've asked for owner financing. Every time I rent a house, I pull credit. Every time you go buy a house from the bank, they're going to pull your credit. But owner financing, if you can find a house that is free and clear and they want to sell it or they want to rent it, ask them if they'll do a rent to own or a lease option or owner financing with you. And maybe they will pull your credit, but nobody has pulled mine yet. Um, the easiest way to find owner financing houses, I am doing a free 30 minute phone call tomorrow and uh, there's a link up on Facebook. There's a link on my website, WhitneyBuysHouses.com. You can sign up for the free 30 minute phone call tomorrow and I'll go through three free ways to find houses that would be good for owner financing. I missed that last question. I'm sorry if you'll put it back up again. But tomorrow I'm doing 30 minutes at 3 o'clock Eastern Time on three free ways to find off-market properties. I think that's the official title for it is three free ways to find off-market properties. And that's the whole goal, right? I mean, I don't buy houses that are on the market on the MLS with a real estate agent. I don't do that. I did 20 deals last year, one side of the deal. Uh, some of them I did two sides, but I did at least one side of the deal last year. I did 20 of those by myself and they were all off market. How do you make money auctioning land and properties? What does that process work? Well, I'm an auctioneer. So I am a real estate auctioneer. So if somebody, a lot of times people will call me, like the people I looked at today, I looked at their house today. They have had the house listed with two or three different agents. They've had two or three different offers fall through and they are tired of this. They just want to sell the house and move to Iowa. So they called me because I can sell a property in 60 to 90 days. I mean, I can sell it within 45 to 60 days, but then I need another 45 to 30 days, 30 to 45 days. So a total of 90 days to get it closed. Usually I like to, if I sign up a property on the 15th, then the next 15th, we're good into advertising. And by the next 15th, it should be sold. And then on that second one, I've got 30 days to close. So a total of 90 days to close. And to in, in the Southeast, I'm in Tennessee and Georgia. You have to have a real estate license and you have to have an auctioneer's license to sell real estate. So... And I make the money because I charge a 10% buyer's premium. So quick math, if I sell a property for 100000 then normally you would subtract the real estate commission out of your 100. Well, it's not like that in auctions, not my auctions anyway. If I get $100,000 on the gavel price, so when I say it's sold, then I add 10% on top, the actual sales price is 110, but I get the 10,000 up front on top, day of the auction. That's how I make money with auctions. No, these um, houses, like the one I looked at today for the auction, my auctions are, I don't want to say never, but my auctions are always investment properties. They're second homes. They're beach homes. They're lake houses. It's 100 acres of, you know, hunting land. Or it's an industrial warehouse or a truck shop that nobody wants anymore or something that they've inherited, I, I very rarely, I don't want to say never because that's really strong, but I don't deal with distressed properties at my auctions. And a lot of times when I buy houses, they're distressed because nobody's living there. Like foreclosures, I stay away from those. If you haven't been making a payment in six months, I'm not interested in your house. But if you've not made a payment in a month, I can buy it. If it's been three or four or six months, I'm not that interested in it. But I do some really cool stuff. I do owner financing. I do subject tos. I do lease options. I do uh, auctions, A-U-C-T-I-O-N, auctions. And my website is WhitneyNicely.com. Y'all go to it. I'm going to do 30 minutes of three free ways to find off-market properties tomorrow, Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. And I think I'll record it and then I'll put it up on the website and it'll be for sale. So, 
listed in tomorrow, go ahead and register and send me an email and I'll get you on the list. Otherwise, it's going to be for sale. The free knowledge is not going to be free anymore. <laughs> Insert in the laugh here. <laughs> All right, well, I've got another meeting today, so I am off. It's the Association of Construction Women, the Knoxville chapter, and we're going to Bonefish for dinner, so I've got to go. I hope everybody has a great evening, and this was on free and clear houses, how to buy free and clear houses, and what to do with them after you get a free and clear house. And I'm telling you, you'll be surprised at how many houses are out there in your neighborhood, in your town, that do not have a mortgage on them. You think everybody has a mortgage on their house, but a lot of people don't have a mortgage. A lot of people have never had a mortgage. So, if you think that would be cool, you definitely need to check back in with me tomorrow. Bye, y'all. My website is WhitneyLastly.com. It's in my bio here. Also, follow me on Instagram, at Whitney Buys Houses. I'm on Facebook, Whitney Buys Houses. Uh, Periscope and Blab, at Wit Buys Houses, W-H-I-T. I love bandit signs, yes. Bandit signs are fun, but that's not one of my three ways because bandit signs cost money. Tomorrow I'm doing three free ways to find off-market properties. Totally free. Okay? I cover bandit signs and group coaching. So if you're interested in bandit signs and some, some of the other ways, I do that in group coaching. And the April group coaching is available on the website also. All right, I'm heading to dinner. Bye, y'all. Ah.